Hello and welcome to Fox 17 Unfiltered. I'm Max Goldwasser. I'm sitting with a, a familiar face with the Unfiltered <laughs> Hi, show. Yeah. Fong Nguyen is back. It's nice to have you back on the Good show. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah. You. Now, if you recognize Fong, it's because last time we spoke, we were at your Monsoon. restaurant yeah. called Monsoon, the first ever Vietnamese restaurant that opened in downtown Grand Rapids. That's been a huge success. Yes, yes. And now we're here at your new adventure. Where are we, Fong? We are on Byron Center on a strip mall next to Shopee Blue Ginger. And we are so glad to be the first Korean condo. Focus on Korean condo uh, in the area. Yes. You're just doing the, the first of everything at this point, it Hopefully. sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. You're a pioneer, the, the Asian food uh, market here in West yes. Michigan. What made you, because you're from Vietnam, Yes. so what made you want to showcase this style of Asian cuisine? We love street food. Yeah. When you go to Asia, the most thing you will see is street food everywhere. You see a cord of, you know, a lady mm -hmm. who making, you know, one thing, selling you one things. And then that's specialty on them. But that and one thing is just a, incredible. Delicious. And then you just go there and eat that's one thing only. Yeah. And then that's why we want to be a focus on Korean conduct here mm -hmm. as a specialty for us. So that's mainly what people can find when they yes, come in here. I was, I was curious what Korean yes. street food really consists of, but uh, you come in and, and the corn dogs are really the, the primary yes. featured item here. That's right. So. Yeah. And we also have some like bingsu, which is like a Korean dessert, which is like a meal chef ice mm. so delicious we mm. have some food food in, in there like mango and strawberry and then we also have a like mochi so you yeah, when yeah, you buy yeah. on it you have different texture you know chewy a little bit melting yeah. them out a little bit so it's just all go together well the place looks awesome thank and, you and i know this is kind of like what happened at monsoon very intentional with the decorations yes. it really makes you feel like you're at a at, at an actual street food <laughs> That's court right. thank you yes. in korea thank yeah. you for Paying a little bit of attention on that because that's the whole concept. You know, when you open a place, you want people to feel the same feeling that you're supposed to get. You know, yeah. a food court. You want to yeah. teleport yeah. them to that actual yeah, but in, authentic in, experience. Yeah, a authentic experience. But in Asia, we can put a foot right in front of you. But <laughs> in America, you can't do that. You're getting as close as you can. As close as you can. Yeah, as close as you can. And you just opened three weeks ago, right? Yes, that's right. So yeah. it must be a really slow start. No one's coming in. Yeah. Lots of food left over. Yeah. That's what we thought, but <laughs> apparently we closed two days in a row for the first two days we opened because the amount of support was amazing. And we're sorry that we had to turn some people off, but uh, we did get a lot of people and lie up on the corner and it's amazing. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, no, it's an yeah. uh, amazing <laughs> response from the community. Yes. Would you say you were up until like 2 a.m. those first couple oh, nights yes. here? All the time. Yeah. For the first week, we always stay here until 2 a.m. to just prep, 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 prep focus on prepping to able to because you know all we do is just hi we open on our Instagram and then flood of people coming in yeah, that's all is, it took yeah it's amazing yeah, yeah. You know, it's great for the business but yes. not great for your sleep schedule then. 100% yeah <laughs> we did not sleep at well <laughs> yeah last time we spoke also I thought it was really funny what you told me because when you first went into the restaurant industry your yes. parents were maybe not super supportive 100% I think yeah. there was one time you, you told me that they didn't even talk to you for like three months because it's, they it's were so true. It's a unsure. true story. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Now do you kind of rub it in their face? Like I told you so. <laughs> I this told was you to so. work out. I yes, I, I did. But they were super supportive after the first year of culinary school, and they were like, okay, seemed like something that you really enjoy doing and really focus on doing. Mm -hmm. That's what Asian parent does. You know, they want you to focus on doing things. Mm -hmm. I mean, I changed major a couple of times, but that's why they were like. Are you sure or want to cooking? You want to be standing 14, 16 hours a day. That part is definitely true still. It's 100% <laughs> true. I mean, it's, it's all payoff. I mean, restaurant, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. If you love something that you do, it's just amazing. Yeah. And you, you yeah. clearly love it. Yeah. I love it. It's I so awesome it to see. It's infectious. Yes, it is. So you got Vietnamese restaurant. You got uh -huh. a Korean restaurant. <laughs> We're getting a tour of Asia through our taste buds. Does that mean what, what's coming next? Oh, man. I can't tell you yet, but who knows? Yeah, could be more. Yeah, I, I always achieve to get more and more. Yeah. Okay. So well, congratulations on you. your newest adventure. Thank you, buddy. Hong, it's nice to speak with you. Yeah, again. nice to speak. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Thank you.